Okay, so there's no news this week. Uh, just, just roll, just roll. And welcome back. So basically, I've been told there's no news this week. We've got no patch updates, no dev build, no nothing. So, I guess it's time to talk about something else. Uh, okay, so basically, I'm not going to do a ship of the week or a station of the week. My, my actual server's been off for uh, maintenance this week, so it'll be back next week. But in any case, we've got no patch notes to talk about. Hmm. <clears throat> so, in that case, I'm going to draw your attention to the StarMade subreddit. The StarMade subreddit is excellent, even though every time I try to log in I have to reset my password. I don't know what that's about. I think that's just a Reddit thing. But anyway, um, let's just have a quick look at some of these posts, because we've got nothing better to do with the time today. So, uh, it looks like that's what we're going to do. So, we've got many suggestions from players. I uh, would note that Schema is admin on this, so he will most likely see these, okay, which is pretty cool. Um, going through, <clears throat> maneuverability size gradient might need tweaking. Um, how all three foreground ships have a max turning value of 1.1. Let's have a look. So, all of these have. 1.1. Really? His battle star is the same turning speed as his... <laughs> okay. <coughs> I must admit, <coughs> I tend to uh, change the server property to 0.9, <coughs> or even 0.8, actually. Um, but I think we ended up settling on 0.9, so that's interesting. I know who this is, so that's really interesting that all his ships have the same turning value. Um, <coughs> further down, we've got discussing tactics. Let's see what this one is. Big discussion here on uh, fleet tactics, so uh, that's pretty cool. So there we go, strategy of three-dimensional warfare. Yeah, Riddick already made a post on Reddit about something like this, so that's interesting. Going back to the main Reddit page, we've got pilot launcher and grav tubes by yours truly. Um, part two of that is going to be coming out today. Um, I just finished, just got done finishing that before I got onto this. So, anyone got a good multiplayer server? I have, but it's offline. <laughs> So, yeah, cliche. Um, faction ID management issues. Now, this is interesting. I'm going to quick look at this one. Faction list is broken because it only shows the first factions. It's not possible to roll down. I could have sworn if you press tab, you used to be able to... Yeah, maybe... The, yeah, it got taken away. I think there was somewhere where it shows you your ID, but I can't remember now. But you, you are correct. I agree with you. It is very difficult to reset because the factions, the IDs all get lost. It'd be great if there was a... Faction file. I think there is a faction file. I think it's called factionid.fac. Um, <clears throat> is it worth looking? Nah, this is the news. I'll do it in a separate video. So, basically, yes, he is correct, though. Um, it can be difficult. Um, what we tend to do is get people to just set up new faction, so we don't transport the factions and we get them to set up a new faction, and then you use the new command to set the entity's faction to the correct, to the new number. Because um, you can look up the player ID. Yeah, here we go, someone else has pointed that out. Um, oh no, no, it's the original poster, so slash player underscore info. Um, but yeah, and that's that. So that allows you to get the faction ID and set up all your imported sectors if you do a bit of server admin. Oberth Science Class two days ago by Asmos Deuce, which would be Apex Origin. Uh, great builder. And um, we're not actually going to go start watching YouTube videos, but yeah, do check that out because uh, let me give him a rate. Ah, oh, can't sign in. Ridiculous. New mini game from Ryben. Um, like I say, I've played with him quite a bit. He's a cool guy and he's making a little mini game. Uh, two and a half thousand subscriber ship giveaway. Yep, yeah, I gave away 20 ships. Um, another one with Ryben reviewing the SFW Libra with Dalmont as my server's down. I'm glad someone's picking up the slack because I haven't been able to film anything. So that's cool. Uh, post your favorite servers. I think someone was repping Mushroom Fleet up on here, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Ryben Noxus wants whitelisting. Right. Whitelisting will be done soon. <laughs> as soon as the server's back online. 
and then this just goes on and on and on there's so much here so much here that you need to check out um so that is my first thing um i'm just going to take a quick look in here because this is the mushroomfleet.co.uk community and on here we've got quite a few interesting sections i just want to go over we've got one section called build inspiration which has been really blowing up uh recently i don't think this is build inspiration off topic you go so <clears throat> back here there we go be inspired right hello meteor so many videos images for building ships uh, music to listen to while you're building um, all that kind of thing uh, interior tours on military ships from the real world you know for a bit of inspiration on interiors all this sort of stuff helps obviously uh, sort of manga and anime collections for Mecca that was good got an interesting picture here from Babylon 5 um, basically go there check it out it's the best thing you can do uh, space battleship Yamato which is pretty cool there and there is so much here uh, I could just keep scrolling down for ages because uh, there are a lot of people that are posting up their inspirational stuff here there's Mega Maid <laughs> bit of a sketch up prototype there ship comparison sizes uh, more Gundams so yeah that's that's pretty much that and while we're here we're also going to take a quick look at the member videos section member videos so we've got Ryben Don Jones doing a tutorial on texture mapping with SM edit uh, we've also got Cam Cameron McCloskey here He's putting in how to change the in-game background tutorial so you can get better star scenes, which is pretty cool. Origa City posted up his Star Made Mech Battle Round 3. I posted, reposted that on Reddit for him because it's a really nice video. I really enjoyed watching that. Um, a beginner tutorial on using symmetry with Smedit from Don Jones. That's another tutorial. He's doing some great tutorials. I think I'm going to flow the links off to Joe and see if he wants to add them to the wiki. Uh, further down we've got round two with Auriga City. Uh, sometimes I'll just post things which I've found people have put up but haven't shared here. So uh, that's pretty nice. I like that. Um, coming down we've got uh, Masochist for Melons. I shared his tutorial on how to make loads of money using the Cubitom system. Um, Cameron with his Brickiri Cruiser. Alessandro Rigo, he's the guy that linked up the dev demo. I, I, I completely missed it. Completely missed it. Um, I had no idea he was working on that, but obviously it's part of the puzzle. So, um, Devin posting up a sneak preview of his carrier. Uh, Thunderbird 2 walk around and weapons demonstration by Cameron McClure. You want to check out this. This is a really nice ship. I still haven't had a chance to get it in game to do a video on it. It needs to be done though. So this is the thing, I can't do ship of the week. You just need to come and look in here. There's a ship of the week every day. Uh, it's very difficult to judge them, to be honest. Um, moving back, we've got Jason Kenny with a rail gun. Um, and this will be the doom for Hailstorm. Unfortunately, I think Hailstorm got broken by the game before that, fin that project was finished. Um, and yeah, you can just keep scrolling down. There's so much here. Um, I didn't want to miss anyone out. Jay Boyd, he, he's often bringing out many videos, um, so you want to check him out too. Um, and yeah, just moving down, you can see Amadeo, Achim Hannes, he's done some great tutorials as well um, on more the technical side of things, like how to get good reactors and stuff like that. Um, and then obviously we're getting back to the parkour race now, so going back up to the top once more. We've also got fleet reddits, so every time I put a post up on Reddit, it gets linked here. So if you ever miss anything, it's easy to find them because uh, they do get swamped pretty quickly. Um, and finally, we do have a section for Lightning Sphere. We're still trying to fully hook up with Lightning Sphere and a couple of other sort of star made esports uh, type servers because I'd like to put that on as a permanent section on the news. Um, Obviously, register, register IGN, uh, ship node downloads, and obviously, then we've got 
fleet screenshots. Fleet screenshots are pretty cool. So um, I'm just going to go full screen for this, I think. Let me just see now. Where's the full screen? There we go. So let's just take a quick look at this one. This is Ryben's minigame. So can we get a zoom? Doesn't look like zoom. Does that zoom? Oh, there we go. This is Ryben's minigame. Um, I have yet to see any, it tested, and apparently full capacity is 8v8, so uh, <laughs> looks like it could be collision-tastic, but fun, so. Also, I hope he used the sphere I had on the server for that, because if he did that by hand, it would have taken forever. Smell it is a must with certain projects, I think. So, and it's gone back to the wrong category. There we go. So here we are. Some more screenshots. I think that that is from the wrong game. So channel B. So there we go. Keep going. Sneak peek of the Lancer fleet. Battle cruiser. Project 466 I know is ready for filming. New ship for the SGF. Oh, these are really cool. When people do like composite images with all their stats and stuff. I want to, that's a really cool thing. I want to see more of that. Uh, little, little, little fighters. More work in progress stuff. Some people upload entire albums with collections, which is really cool. Um, an LA Alat dropship. Clone Wars style. Um, I believe they've made walkers as well. So as you can see, that's pretty awesome. But, you know, if you're ever bored or looking for some inspiration and you've got plenty of pictures to come in here and get good ideas from. So uh, that's that. And ooh, what's this? See, there's a few things I haven't even seen in here yet. What's that? That's not the same picture I was looking at. Where's the other one? Ah! Oh, right! <laughs> Uh, so there you go. Oh, nice tank. So yeah, um, good way to waste a lot of time there. <clears throat> I'm going to cut now to one of the uh, one of our messages from uh, one of our machinima makers. And if anyone else is making a series, I'd love to feature that too. It's going to be a little bit more organised in future. So uh, I hope to have a sort of permanent section really for these sort of things um, but I'll leave you now with that and uh, and I'll see you next week when hopefully we'll have some more news for you there will be an interim update though so if the news comes out on Thursday or something strange there'll be a new update then because to be honest this doesn't feel like the proper news today but um, I'll try to give you something anyway so check out Reddit and I'll see you next time unexplored planets, unlimited resources, and the danger space pirates bring with them. One man sets out to earn money for his family. This journey will change his life forever. Mayday, mayday, this is the pilot of the dojo. Video Dojo presents Star Deep Space Adventures.